spring morning. This is my front door. I love the spider plant falling down and my purple flowers. And These are my little... I've had these for years. I just started repainting them. I had to let some of it dry. They're doing pretty good. I don't know if I'll paint any more on them or not. Maybe one of these days I'll paint their clothes in a little brighter. I used to have more. I don't know. They've disappeared through moving and stuff, but I just thought they were cute. Um, I have questions, and maybe you can help me with some of them, and then my blog and my vlog are, it, it's called um, Experience Teaches Ideas to Share. I like to share some ideas, but I like to get your ideas. I hope some of you do some videos. I would love to see what my fellow herbalists and gardeners are doing in their little gardens. Uh, one of my questions I want to ask you is, I, I don't know what this is. I plant stuff and stuff comes up. It kind of looks like calendula. Um, I've got so much calendula. Um, this one's clary sage. I'm not sure what to do. What do you do with clary sage? Um, maybe just plant it in my garden and let it blossoms draw bees. I don't know. Um, it's pretty, even the leaves. Look how they sparkle. I don't know if you can see that on the video. They're really sparkling. Um, this was saved all winter long. Still not doing much of anything. I want to, I finally got my garden area fenced. Between my son, me, and Kyle. Pieces and parts. The part I did I'm older, and it's hard for me to do things, but even when I was younger, I never had much energy or chi. I was sick a lot as a kid, but I do what I can. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff growing, starting to come up. Um, that's my little table I have in there. I've got ashwagandha, chives, purple beans. I've got a little bit of mullein coming up. Let's go around. I'll take you inside. My son's still working on a gate because this is blocked off in the back from when I didn't have a fence to keep the chickens out. The boxes are all together, so. But um, this is my temporary gate until my son gets the other gate. I put in some lemon cucumbers along the fence. I just have to use what I have. I have a vision of lemon cucumbers growing up on the fence and when you drive in the driveway the pretty yellow blossoms and cucumbers hanging down. Um, <clears throat> but trying to keep these weeds out in the meantime is another chore. <laughs> what are these? Anybody have any ideas? Is it just a weed? Is it a plant? I did have a cucumber plant in there that died. The bugs ate it. I have a real fight with bugs. I put Dimetrius earth or whatever you call it down trying to keep them down, the bugs down, down there. Don't have this planted yet. I'm thinking about putting asparagus in there. These are like straight eight cucumbers. I got my wire up on this fence for my boysenberries to grow. So thankful for that. Planted my blueberries. I got another blueberry up this year. I put in here that's a different breed. They say it does better if you have different breeds. I wanted to share the blossoms on the blueberries. This plant's really blossomed. They are so, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, if you can get out and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful spring. It's so awesome. I love all the little things. I've got lots of weeds. Some good, some not so good. Um, I don't like to eat them out of my yard too much. There's my self heal. It's really taking off. All right. I found, I rolled this little yellow thing over here, put boards on top. And I put my gloves, and there's twine, and my little shovels in there to keep them from the sun and stuff. I'd like to get a mailbox. Now, here's an idea I'm sharing with you. I haven't done it yet. Maybe at a, I don't know, yard sale or something, I'll find an old mailbox and paint it and put it in. Then I can just put them inside the mailbox and um, keep the water and sun off. And that's my fava beans. I'm not sure... I got a lot of stuff starting to come up, and it's exciting, and Reggie is back over here again hunting. I give up. Run, little lizards, run. I like my lizards. Maybe he'll find a mouse instead. These are those that I was showing you. This is the, on the other side of the fence, this is my mullein. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
got blackberry vines coming up, but my son has this electric thing that shocks the roots. But trying for him to find time to come over here and work on it for me is another question. I already picked a bunch of these leaves and made tea and they come right back. I'm going to plant my ochre in here because in the summer it's super, super hot here. Hopefully they will shade my little crooked neck squash. Over here I have a Hubbard squash coming up. And then zucchini. I hope they don't interchange. When I originally planted them some weeks ago, I didn't have this fence up. Didn't know when I was going to be able to get it up. I just had a little fence around this, so I had to plant them close together to keep the chickens from digging them out. Um, or the dogs. Um, they're awful close. I have a fennel over there. I've got lots of weeds. Any idea how to get rid of weeds? I do need to get some more weed barrier, but our weed eater is a push weed eater, and I don't there's areas like along the fence. It doesn't do good. It catches on the fence and you have to keep it away from the fence. Um, and I don't know if it's going to go. It's pretty wide being a push. Might get it through there. But um, yeah, this is, I'm excited. Any ideas what I can do with my little area? Share with me. I like to share ideas to share. Experience teaches. My blog and my vlog. Um, my blog is on WordPress. I haven't put anything down on my blog in a while. I just do this. I'm always so busy with so many other things. I had a little tomato vine that came up in the winter. <laughs> and my, under my patio, I pulled it up. Actually, the end of fall, and it lived. So I pulled it up and planted it here. And for a transplant that big, it's not doing too bad. I gotta get out here and pull some of these weeds to find time. But anyway, um, hope you all have a grand and glorious spring. I'm really enjoying mine, except I see all these weeds encroaching, and how am I going to get rid of them? <laughs> I'd eat them, but I don't want to eat the weeds around here. I do eat some of them. I wash them good. But anyway, catch you later.